I am blown away by the work of the students and uh, I had the good fortune to see a lot of work yesterday that the students had made and summer students that have gone on and gone out in the world and are working at companies and others just making things at school. You know, it's so, so sophisticated compared to what it was when I was in school and when I was studying animation. Of course, at that point in time, it was all 2D work and stop motion work. But, you know, I was thinking back, uh, the, much of what I've seen is, would have been, um, more sophisticated than we could have done 30 years ago by the most talented professionals. Some of the, some of the work I saw in, in shading and animation and set extension and so forth. I, I, uh, I just think it's, it's stunning and staggering and uh, it, it gives me great optimism for the future because people are coming out of the program here, uh, I've seen in other programs, so talented and, and, and facile. And the tools available now that are accessible to people help support that in a way, um, but it's, it's amazing. In your opinion, what's one thing in Belgium that you, can, you can't find in USA and makes this place so unique? Well, I will say two, two things. I, I, there's a lot of great you know, film schools and CG schools and so forth in the States. And maybe it's because I, I, I've, I've known Jeanne for a while, but I, I was impressed by um, the esprit du corps of the students and, and, and the work they were doing here. There's something about it that was very uh, touching and moving and, and surprising. And I, I have to say the Belgian beer